What the f- Fuck just happened man. The Wrestlemania 40 press conference is officially over and I still can't believe what just went down. The Rock has basically turned heel and joined up with Roman Reigns, Cody vs Roman is confirmed, Seth Rollins is the biggest cuck in the WWE and the company just shot its hottest angles since Austin and Tyson back in 1998. Going to this press conference there was so much hype, was it gonna be simply Rock vs Roman at Mania, was it gonna be a triple threat, a night one night two situation and while we could still get some of that, I don't think anyone expected what we actually actually got tonight. Yo, this was basically a UFC press conference, Diaz and McGregor type beat from back in the day. The only thing missing was some water bottles being thrown, and to summarize it as best as I can, shit just went down tonight. So Roman came out and he said that he wanted to fight The Rock in the main event of Wrestlemania. Then The Rock came out to confirm it and the crowd just let him have it. Even though all night it was pretty 50-50 in terms of Rock and Cody chance, once The Rock came out and he started talking, Everything changed. Before every sentence, boos were just raining down on him and it took him a solid 5 minutes to spit out a few sentences and you could see The Rock's facial expressions just changed slowly as they moved along on the promo and it seemed as if Rock vs Roman was basically confirmed, so much so that The Rock turned this into a TED talk. I I'm not joking. Because before you knew it, this man had a powerpoint on the screen like it was a grade 12 family studies class and he was about to lecture us on the history of the bloodline. So with the powerpoint on the screen and The Rock mentioning over and over how this is the biggest match in history, out came Cody Rhodes. He comes out and he's already cussing and he tells the world that he wants his match against Roman Reigns at Wrestlemania and shit just popped off and that might even be underselling it. So at this point it's like alright cool you know we're gonna get Cody vs Roman at Wrestlemania that's one match down now we're probably gonna set up either a special referee situation or a night one night two situation you know it's time to set it up let's see where this goes. But nah 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 apparently that's too simple we gotta create some cinema we need to create some hype for this in a crazy turn of events the rock feels feels as if Cody disrespected his family, which honestly he really didn't, if anything it was Roman disrespecting Cody's family, he just said something back which wasn't even anything crazy. All he said to Roman was your ancestors would be ashamed of you, but The Rock took it personally and next thing you know, The Rock is slapping Cody Rose on the stage and everything just goes nuts. Yo I'm not lying to you, I'm not joking when I say my jaw was genuinely on the floor and next thing you know all you hear is every curse word in the dictionary being dropped, they start beefing, Rollins is heated for some reason, and Cody is tweaking, The Rock goes full kingpin heel mode, talking about how he runs this business, he runs his company, and he can do whatever he wants, and how this is disrespectful, and in short, we are left with on one side, Roman and The Rock. And holy, what a plot twist. The Rock has gone full heel mode, he's back in line with his cousin, and he's all about family now. Yo, on a side note though, The Rock mentioned family so much today, and he's wearing that black tank top, can somebody check that that's not Vin Diesel? But yes, Rock and Roman on one side, the two bosses who run everything, the two man power trip of 2024, one who has all the gold and the other one who is on the board, just seeing that visual that itself was pretty crazy, but yo they were not finished. They have the Rock and Roman Reigns go backstage and find little old Triple H and Triple H just standing there doing his nice innocent little interview and the Rock just starts going off. He starts cussing out little old Triple H and he's telling him, yo, I can't let this slide, I, you know, you better fix this shit, this is not how it's done, I'm The Rock, I'm on the board of directors, this and that, and yo, it, it's crazy, I am telling you, it does not get any better than this. This is the hottest angle I have ever witnessed live, no doubt. The Rock going heel in 2024 is something that I never thought I would see, but this instantly made everything, everything that's going on, a hundred times more interesting. So now the question is, where do they go now? I have genuinely zero idea. To me though, it was interesting seeing The Rock lead the way backstage when they pulled up on Triple H. It was The Rock doing all the talking, he was the one in front, he was the one taking the charge. Roman Loki definitely got a little cousined, and maybe that's the beginning of a little side storyline, you know, where they're family for a bit, you know, everything is funny games, but soon they start bickering and start seeing things differently, until it explodes and it's Rock and Roman on night one, and Cody versus the winner on night two. That's just one theory though, the other theory going out right now is that they might do a tag team match where night one is Rock and Roman versus Cody and Seth and night two would be Cody versus Roman. I genuinely have zero idea, I have no idea what's going on, I can't even try to predict what's going to happen because clearly anything is possible at this point. But low key though I will say this, if you're going to do a tag team match, I don't know, maybe forget about Rollins and let Cody and Randy Orton team up against the two man power trip, hey hey hey, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But all that aside, this was straight up magical. I know we get carried away and we call things cinema and we overreact, I am super guilty of that and it's just because we want things to be special, sometimes we want things to be more special than they really are, we just want them to be epic so we can kind of validate what we're watching, but this, ladies and gentlemen, this was special. 
The Rock has turned heel, Cody's fan support has brought him back to the main event of Wrestlemania, Roman and Rock are together, I can't believe it. Now does most of this make zero sense, especially considering what we saw Friday? Definitely, but who cares, it's wrestling. It's crazy though how they made sure to mention that The Rock was on the board of directors, like they made it a point of emphasis, which definitely signals that they're gonna do some shenanigans with The Rock abusing his power, but to what extent, we don't know. Does he become the biased referee? Does he wrestle on night one? Or does it become a triple threat? Which, hey, I'm gonna be honest, it does follow the WrestleMania tradition. It is WrestleMania 40 after all. Just when you think you're out, they pull you right back in and they just drop the most fire you've seen in your life. And kudos to the company, kudos to The Rock for you know doing this. I don't think he really wanted to be heel. He had everything pictured very differently in his head, but respect to him for going through with this. And, and now, now we just see how everything's gonna unfold and it's gonna be a wild, wild ride. But I must say this, Cody Nation, Cody Gang, whatever you want to call it, stand up, we did it. It puts such a huge smile on my face knowing that this man is back in the main event of WrestleMania and that the fans will did. All the fans that tweeted this out, all the fans that made noise on Monday, all the fans that went crazy, like nothing but respect for you guys. You guys literally willed this back into existence. You guys literally made this happen again. Cody Rhodes back in the main event where he deserves. He sells the most merch. He's out there on every house show putting in work, whether it's signing, taking pictures, doing everything. He's been carrying this company on his back right there with Roman Reigns. So it's only right. The top heel, the top face, main event of WrestleMania. We'll see what shenanigans go down. We'll see what The Rock pulls up. But at this point, the fact that we're getting this match, that's enough for me. That's what makes me happy. Like I said, this is the hottest angle I have seen in my lifetime. This was something special. This was something generational. Yo, they weren't kidding when they were saying that this is going to be something we're going to talk about for a long, long time. I don't think I'm going to ever forget this and just how magical this was. Just when you thought wrestling was already booming and already in a very good place, you have something like this, something like this that's going to get mainstream attention, something like this that really blows up on social media. It's things like this that take it over the top. And now this road to WrestleMania might just be the best one yet. And this WrestleMania, yo, we're, we're back. We're back. This might be truly one of the best WrestleManias of all time. My boy is back in the main event. The Rock is a heel. The wrestling world is on fire. Everyone is going crazy on social media. Wrestling feels like it's the hottest it's ever been in my whole lifetime. So I'm just excited. I'm going to be there at WrestleMania. I want to see my boy Cody finish the story. I hope he finishes the story. But either way... What a time to be alive. In the comments down below though, let me know what do you want to see happen? What do you think is going to happen? Will it be a triple threat match? Will it be a night one, night two situation? Special referee, tag team match? What do you think is going to happen? And most importantly, what do you want to see happen? It's your boy Path. Thank you guys so much for watching. And before we leave, I'm just going to say something. Mr. Rock, Mr. Johnson, I am electrified. Shout out to you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys soon, okay? Later.